Lung volume reduction is a technique designed to improve symptoms in patients with severe emphysema. When you get emphysema, usually from smoking, uh, you lose all the elastic tissue of the lungs, so the lungs can't empty properly and over time you become overinflated. And it's very much like taking a big breath and then trying to breathe from there. There's not much room left for you to take any breaths and the moment you exercise and need to increase the amount you're breathing, you, you become very breathless very quickly and it limits what you can do. Lung volume reduction is designed to remove the most diseased parts of lungs so that your lungs fit in your chest better and the mechanics of breathing become easier. It doesn't repair any of the damage that's done to the rest of the lung, but allows the slightly better bits of lung to operate in a more effective way. There are a number of criteria we use to determine whether you're suitable for lung volume reduction procedures. Firstly, you have to have severe COPD, so the amount you can blow out in one second typically has to be less than half of what we would expect for someone of your age and height. You have to have significant difficulties with exercise or other tasks of daily living. Your quality of life has to be impaired by your breathing difficulties. You have to be on what we call optimum medical management, so you're on the right inhalers and drugs, you've stopped smoking, you've been to something called pulmonary rehabilitation, which is an exercise class designed for patients with lung disease to improve exercise ability and reduce breathlessness. And then when you come to the hospital, we would do some scans to see whether you had emphysema. Not everybody with emphysema is suitable for lung volume reduction procedures. There are certain patterns of emphysema that we know don't benefit as much from lung volume reduction. And we would look at your scans very carefully when you came to hospital to ensure that you had the right pattern of disease. One of the other main reasons you might not be suitable is because you have other medical problems that will either make the procedure unsafe or limit the benefit you get from the procedure. And a good example would be severe heart disease. Typically, once you've had a lung volume reduction procedure, we would expect to see that you can walk further, that you're less breathless, both at rest and on exercise, and you would feel better in general. Your quality of life would be better. There are two main techniques for lung volume reduction. The first technique is surgery, where the surgeons will cut away the most diseased parts of lung. And the second way is what we call minimally invasive, where we would use a bronchoscope, so a fiber optic camera, where we can look into the airways of the lungs and we would deploy one-way valves into the most destroyed areas of lung. And the idea of those is that air comes out of the valves, but it stops from going back in and that section of lung deflates. So rather than cutting it out, you just deflate it and you lose volume that way. If you're interested in finding out whether you're suitable for lung volume reduction procedures, the first thing you should do is contact your GP. They will have a wealth of medical information about you, including breathing tests, and those will be used to make an initial assessment as to whether you were likely to be a candidate. If you were, your GP would then refer you up to the hospital for further tests under the respiratory team. These tests would include scans of your lungs to ensure that you have emphysema, the right pattern of emphysema, and some tests to assess the blood flow within your lungs. You would have some detailed breathing tests that would look at how overinflated your lungs were and how well the lungs handled oxygen, a very important safety marker. You would likely have a walking test and some other tests of your quality of life.